What's going on guys? Thanks for checking into my channel. Today we are going to be tackling a big debate right now. Always has changed the packaging on their products. Let's see exactly why ch what changed, why it changed, and why people have seemed to be losing their minds about it. Stick around for some education. Roll the intro. First, in case you've been working a lot and haven't had time to check social media, let's get you up to speed. Always the brand that makes pads for when you're on your period, they've decided to change the individual wrappers of the pads to remove the Venus symbol, and people are losing their minds about it. They made the change because they had some trans and non-binary people reach out to the company on Twitter telling them that they also use their products. And if you know even a smidge about business, obviously you're going to want to market your product to as many people as you can in order to further your mission of, in their case, providing access to period products for everyone that needs them. Always responded with the change, providing a statement saying, For over 35 years, Always has championed girls and women and will continue to do so. We're also committed to diversity and inclusion, and are on a continual journey to understand the needs of all of our consumers. We regularly assess our products, packaging, and designs to ensure we are meeting the needs of everyone who uses our products. The change to our pad wrapper design is consistent with that practice. So, from the statement, we see two things. One, they're telling you that they don't support cis women any less. That's not changing. Number two, they're making this change because they recognize there are more than just cis women that have periods and that use their products. To clarify, the outer packaging is not changing. Only the wrappers inside the package are, ch are being redesigned. Here's the thing. I've seen numerous posts on Facebook where people are confused about this change. If a man became a woman, why are they upset that it has a woman symbol on it? People think that this changes for trans women, like male to female, but it's actually to be more inclusive of trans men, female to male, and those who don't like to label themselves as women or men, like non-binary people. So when a person transitions from female to male, they may still have a period. I did. I used to send my Nana, my dad, my girlfriend. I could not stand being in the aisle or having someone see me with that package. It triggered some serious gender dysphoria, and I know what the opposers are thinking. Aw, oh, I triggered you. How sad that you're in this super sensitive and easily offended generation. But no, it's not about being offended. It's a medical condition that some people have to deal with. And of course, with any medical condition, you're going to want to stay away from things that make it worse. And to top it off, people are convinced that the redesign of their wrappers is an attack on women. Evidence that l women are literally being erased. To that, I would say that if you think changing graphics on menstrual hygiene products erases women, then you have a very superficial understanding of the ways that women are visible, affirmed, and empowered in the world. Without looking, I'd venture to say that 99% of people couldn't even tell you where their Venus symbol was on the packaging before this change. People that don't like the fact that transgender people exist are the ones that have a problem with it. In the meantime, we as proud transgender individuals and allies are going to mark this as one huge win. With a big ass company like always recognizing that we as trans people exist will be a mark on our timeline events leading to equality. At the end of the day, being treated equally, that's all we're asking for. I'm not asking for any special treatment, I just want to be treated like everybody else. As always, thanks for checking into today's video. Drop a comment down below with your opinion of this always change. And consider subscribing if you're new here. I created this channel to educate people on what it's like to be transgender in today's society as well as make it easier for transgender people on their mission to authenticity. So I love you guys. I appreciate every single one of you. You're beautiful. You're valid. And I will see you guys, you guessed it, in the next video. That's a wrap.